If we go back to shoreline, what are our objectives? We've got Colt, so we need to go Signal. So we still need to put the Jammer on. We've got to do this one up at the resort. We have to just go pick up this from 303. We need to mark that one at the resort. We need to get Scav headshots. Find the missing informant. We've got Lend Lease, and we also have the other one as well. It's good that we actually have a few tasks for streets so we can do our daily with that as well. We'll get this done probably today as well, I'd imagine. We need to focus on getting old logistics. So survival lighter and hunting matches. And we still need one motor to get another upgrade on the hideout. Car money. Sorry, are missions easier to do at night as a solo player in EFT? Yes, in general. I would say if you're going to do nighttime raids, it, it's in your best interest to be suppressed, particularly if you're going on a map like Customs. Customs or Reserve. Only because a lot of players, not a lot, but there are players doing Insomnia. And if they hear you shooting, they'll probably just start running towards you. Um, so if you're a low level player just trying to get through, you know, like, you're like, oh, I'm just going to get my bronze pocket watch and you know, clapping away loud. But it's some scavs. They'll literally be sprinting across on customs to try and kill you. But you'll, you'll at least get to avoid um, a large amount of the squads because most squads don't play nighttime. Not to say that some squads don't or do, but just a large portion of squads <clears throat> will go daytime. So you'll, only, you'll be fighting those more solo players. Tips to survive streets. I would say learn learn the all the little back way through buildings. There are so many back passages you probably don't even know about. Um, watch when I go streets. There's a lot of weird shit that I do. Like I go through like I go into like a restaurant and come out the back, and next minute I'm at like Tar Bank, and then I go through Tar Bank, and the next minute I'm like out in Lexos. But like all we, instead of just going out in the open, I'm going through all these back buildings, and you lose players very quickly if they're trying to chase you. So you're saying we should enter the back passages? Yes. I'm trying to think if there's anything over this side of the map we could everything we need to do is pretty much at resort unless we want to just farm some motors and these are crunchy short and thanks to the prime dude are timmy's new people yeah I don't really have anything to do over there. Like, I could loot. But everything I need to do is up at the resort. So I think I'm better off just getting that stuff done. What do you guys think? Miso soup. Thanks the prom. You can kill scavs there. At best, I've seen one scav there. I'd rather try and get the ambulance marked and the other thing marked and then the jammer marked. There's a player there on the hill. I'm blocking him with the tree at the moment. He's like right there at that tree. Fuck. If it's too foggy now. All right, while these guys are all fighting, maybe I'll be able to mark everything.
The other crappy thing is I don't have slugs. So shooting the sniper scouts is going to be really difficult. So I normally try and kill the sniper scouts when I'm on this shot shotgun task. Scav there. Looks like I'm going out this one. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. He's done. Yeah, you can mark two at once. It's a bit of a bug with the like a visual bug, but it doesn't it doesn't prevent it from being marked. Like it'll, once you place the second one, it'll reset the timer and then it'll, once the first one finishes, it'll disappear, but it'll, it'll still get it done. All right, 303. Anything else up at the resort I need to do? So 303 is this, that's survive, that's survive. I don't have the keys for anything else, so. My arm, my arm. Crunch, 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 crunch. Remember those Japanese gaming girls? I do. Oh, very cute. Thought it'd be cool to do duos with them sometime. I should do that. Hard to tell if you can hear something or not.
like rushing the beaches of Normandy, this. more snow. <clears throat> Find a WD-40 everywhere now. We'll just grab everything we can. We don't need any more hand drills though, unfortunately. The barter trade for something with milk. It's like a rigger and armor or something. really any of that I need. Well, nails. Nails is the only thing I need. T-plugs for one of the keys. Probably the only stuff I actually still need. Bunkowski needs milk. This is Shoreline. I really hope there's people in that area looting right now being like, I'll just take the car out. And then there's me taking the car out. <laughs> uh, one scab down. Does the car leave when you take it? Yep. Car's always up on shoreline. Did Pestoy do the 40 headshots to PMCs? I did. Pestoy, I really hope that my time in this raid has a massive inconvenience on other players. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's that's done. I'm glad. Just need one car battery. All right, we need to go back to West 306 now. This is how we get our therapist rep sorted. All right, so we need three more markers. Got one of those kills. We have one of the stims. Signal's done. Inside is done. Signal four is done. Steady signal. Don't think I use that one. Good ride. What is your opinion on rats? Do you think it's a valid way to play the game? Yep. I do. It's frustrating when you die to them, but... You just gotta remember, don't yuck someone's yum, and um, they're never gonna really progress that far, in all seriousness. Like, they'll, they'll get their wins every now and then. They'll die a heap, 
And I won't really progress very far at all. <sighs> we need this as valve for gunsmith, so that's going to stay. Alright, so for gunsmith, we don't need to take off that, that, and that. So we can sell those. Is it just three markers we need? Cult doesn't need any. Spartal doesn't need any. Healthcare priority doesn't, just rig game. Yeah, we're not going woods though, we're going shoreline again. Alright, we do need those health spray suppressors. Definitely need that. This counts as a 12 gauge, right, for um, Bartul, right? Just scav headshots with a 12 gauge shotgun. So let's use this instead. Medcase went. Uh, so I'm just going to continue on doing the therapist task, which is what we're doing now. So healthcare privacy part five gives us a, gives us a med case. And... Um, healthcare privacy part five because it's med case and also getting therapist level two again, which we're not too far from. We just got to, if we survive the next raid, I think we'll be very close. Yeah, we've got it. We'll get it from this raid if we survive. So this is actually kind of huge. Let's just leave it like this for now. All right, Gingy's keychain is now done and dusted. And we don't want to fill it, but we can definitely put it down to... I don't think this rogue stash key is worth it. I think we just vendor that. Dunker? We'll put that in the Gingy. Outside. Gingy. Marin's nice. Cottage safe. It's kind of pointless that go in there. Like it's good once we get the cottage key. Cool. Alright. And then in the meantime, Gingy's can sit down here. I'll just sell that one. Alright, so we just freed up a heap of space. Oh, our keys on one of the rigs? Was it? There. Oh, we can have two slots. That's good enough. We find more than two keys now. It's unlikely without having my deed already. Oh my God. Where's the... I had painkillers right here. I just saw them. I'm blind. There. Cool. Next raid. So, um, the main objective is to get to West 306. Anything else is a bonus, but if we get West 306, uh, and, the, and the whole purpose behind this is to get Therapist Level 2, because once we have Therapist Level 2, we get the, the barter trade back for the med case, um, and then that opens up a heap of space. But then once we get th um, Healthcare Privacy Part 2 finished, Part 3 is on wood, so we can go do woods tasks then. Four is just have the health level, which we should be smashed past. Yeah, we only need level four or five for the quest. Then... Five is to go into nighttime factory and hand over blue things. Gunpowders. There's one there, two, three. So we've got the three gunpowders already. We've got another three there by the looks of it. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so we've got six. So yeah. <clears throat> and that should free up heaps of space. Like meds. If we could take all the meds out of this stuff. Huge. And it also gave it use up a heap of our syringes and stuff from in here. So it's just a matter of gotta go through the actions. Do not do raid series anymore. Uh, I'll be doing a raid mini series this one, but it, it won't be out uh, anytime in the next week or two. Relative new to the game, do you, where do you recommend running scav raids? Okay, so if you're new to the game, start learning ground zero. I would say use your scav runs on a different map. Personally, if you're just trying to focus on playing your PMC, scav run into factory and just run out with any loot you find. Don't don't spend more than a couple of minutes in factory and just get out and that way you're cashing up your PMC uh, and you might get some quest items and stuff. But if you're actually trying to learn uh, a new map, scav running it can be good for learning a map as well. So, 
Don't try and play every single map at the same time. If you're new, pick one map, like ground zero, play that with your PMC and learn that. And then maybe with your scav run, pick one other map and learn that map. So, you know, go to like, probably customs would be a good idea for your scav runs if you're trying to learn the map. If you if you know where the big PVP areas are, you can just go in there and scavenge in and find all the people's loot. There's actually a couple of cheeky places you can make a lot of money as a scav. I'm dead. I'm straight up dead. I can't believe I'm missing these shots. I'm not actually used to aiming with this shotgun. Just to be... Finding an excuse. got three of them. Definitely made a loud noise though, didn't I? Give a bang. Eight plays and he's got sniped twice. Once on that one, once on the pier. Damn, that sucks, man. Trying to make sure I shoot him in the head. Pretty common to find motors in here too. Get a 13 round mag for this or slugs. Go for snobbers, guys. Listen, three or two. Valkyrie, thanks so much for the two months.
Yes. Spa tour is done. Daily's done. Oh. AK-104. I'll take all the, uh... uh how suicidal is to go to place the marker? We already heard shots at resort. I'd rather approach from the other side. I want to live forever. It's one of my favorite movies. It's an honorable mention in my favorite movie list. Precious pizza. Cheers, dude. There's a madman chasing me! Ah, uh, kill it. Thanks for 39 months. I tell if I could hear someone. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Do I cash for the car? I do. Could do the car. What else do I have to do? Oh, I've got to do Colt. Hello. Hey now, you're an all-star. Could do Colt on the way down. Someone walking over there. Zumo Zambarana. I can watch for ten months.
Bang. Hope that's just a scav. Yeah, it's a scav. Brutals, thanks for the 13 months, dude. Ray Martin, thanks for 26 months. Execu Executor, 1221, thanks for 8 months. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad you still play. Um. And enjoy the game. Door's not open. Now, every time we go to customs, we have to take in a, a, a uh, marker every single raid, just in case the marked room's open, if we survive this. Big if, but... You know, the one thing about um, the snow is it makes it very clear where the lake, where, like, where the swampy bits are, you know? Yet here we are. <laughs> I think I've used all my propanes. Um, a little bit annoying, but... Hey, Pez, do raids ever start with three to five PMCs and not a full lobby? You can have a completely empty raid, bro. If it's the right time of the day. All right. 38,000 XP to the next level. Level 30. Let's get 32 today. That's the goal. Pretty much the rest of the shoreline quests that are annoying are just going to be key locked. That's the markers. Some markers. Daily's done. And we have so many lighthouse tiles. We're gonna have to force ourselves through through lighthouse. Alright, we need to go to woods. But that's therapist two again. So we should Oh they're available too. Should open up heaps of space. Just need a grenade box next. <clears throat> Getting close to full already. There we go. Killed it. kind of in the one spot now <sighs> kind of all right where do we put this i guess we'll put this along here for now so i think we focus on getting healthcare privacy finished and then that way we get um that way we get 
another med case. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about this right now. <laughs> And we have a West 306 already, so we can just vendor that one. I wish we could craft another mag case as well. I might do that. The MP5, sorry, the MPX is actually kind of useless. Is it money spent on skier? Yeah, we're gonna get money spent. Um, what was I going to do? Start a craft. Yeah, but I can't get mags for it, chat. For hardcore, it's useless. Not for main account. Like, you can have fun with the MPX, don't get me wrong. It's the fact that on hardcore, it's kind of rough. Could do a grenade case as well. We'll do we'll do one mag case and then we'll do a grenade case. We're gonna need more. Uh... Pulse and screws though. All right, so we're going to go to woods. We have to get a lot of markers for woods. We need five at least, six, seven. We need seven markers. So we got search mission, shootout, picnic, uh, the folder. All right, five markers for that. Pick up that. And then we've got the Colt, which is two markers. Kind of want to take a gun that's got a bit more range. Did we? We didn't survive with that Mosin? Man. All right, let's just take this. Stuff to mark like everywhere. There's a thing up on top of the ridge, isn't there? Something over here to mark. There's one at, over at the extract. I'll do the ridge one first. Maybe I could do the the one on the other side as well. Better. On boom, next to 20 months. Am I getting disorientated? Big mountain. This way, yeah. I'm going the right way, aren't I? To the sunken village.
I don't know, Kev. Should be able to get two more marks. My reference to go to the sunken village is usually that. That's like the, the northern... So, it's one over here somewhere. In the trees. There. I don't really want to run it all the way around that edge. I'd rather go this way. Oh, I don't have the range to shoot that scav. Okay, we're good. Just to be safe. Is that a AI scav or is that a player scav? see the guy very well. Oh my god, now I'm the one digging into the bloody snow with me eyelids. Another scab over here. Finally. You know how long I've been waiting to get an axe? A good axe. Slugs. Gives us some range. I might put the slugs in there, so if we need to shoot people at range, we'll use that. We could mark the thing over there, but the main priority in this raid is to get healthcare privacy done. But now that we've marked the stuff over this side of the map, we don't have to worry about coming back over here, which is nice. We could do search mission though, and just get it done. Uh, 
I actually have a lot of meds. Oh wait, I killed that scav. Okay, that's over near search mission, so let's not go that way. Lots of slugs. A lot of scav kills. We don't have to come back over this side of the map anymore, which is good. Really, really, really need to do my code brown at some point. Is this shotgun good? No. But I have it. So that's why I'm using it. Did you already mark the weather station behind USEC? No. But there's heaps of fighting going on over there, so I'd rather avoid that one for now. The main priority is healthcare privacy. That leads us to lots of XP, high level therapists. And also, um, a free med case. could go over to the, the village over here just to get some scav kills, but it's pretty common for people to do their shooter-born tasks over here. And talk of shooter tasks. So there's one behind the spawn of like Ruaf or whatever. Where's the other one? There's one over behind Ruaf, one by outskirts, and then one by USEC, and that's the five. Yep. Okay, cool. Scavs here. No way, man. Thanks, dude. Nudes. <coughs> We're going to follow this tree line. Rokus, thanks for the prime. Uh, Vigoris, thanks for the prime. Hot Sauce, thanks for eight months. Have you had your Guinness, thanks for two months? Danthrax87, thanks for 57 months. I have had my Guinness when I was in Ireland. Ireland. Twitch stream. If mm. that doesn't deserve a resub, then I don't know what does. I don't know, Tark. Thanks for 39 months. 
How do I deal with people just camping the house lamb in at in Tarkov? I just had two NPCs sit outside the house and I was at 20 minutes on lighthouse. And don't go in the house. If you don't have the, like grenades and that to make people make noise and move around, don't go in the house. Spawned there. Then how were they the ones camping there? If you spawned there, go and you're there 20 minutes. They arrive right after, then run away. You don't want to fight them. Long range sniping. Let's go. Go from the other side. Can't see him. There's that one down there. One tapped. Clean one tap too. doing a lap of this map. My my extract's on the other side of the map. I'm just trying to do all the, some, of, all, some of these markings now. While we're in here. And i got to kill scavs anyway for a quest. Shootout picnic. Because Prepper and Jaeger right. Stop running! Stop running! It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Chat? The weather station? Other side of the road? Oh, there it is.
Still need four more scav kills. We've got to go buy the cabin. This will be one of these ones. And we're going to go pick up this. This is the thing we're going to get right now. What we're focusing on. How do you choose what ammo? It has to be loose in your bag. And then you... Or even... You can pick what mag. Hold R and scroll your mouse wheel. Hey mate, how you going? One, one. Okay. Be a one ten. CG Toll, thanks to the tier 3 sub for 6 months. And get some sleuths up in the chat for the tier 3 sub. Yannis, thanks so much for the prime, dude. Can't hear any more scabs here, so I'm probably going to bounce now. In case players are coming here for, like, capturing outposts or something. Uh, we could do a little bit more looting. Definitely added more crates. Motor? No way we're running out with that. It's too much weight. Time to leave. Is that a dead scav in the middle of the hill? Player. That's a player running up. Player running up that hillside. He didn't fucking loot it. See is she? Come on. I loot my sample, please.
player up there. It's another player. What players can have? You can actually see the dead body there. Go low ground, I might be able to avoid this guy. He takes his time to loot the um the shack. I'm pretty sure it's a scav. I don't want to camp a scab. I want to have a quest item. Where's the weather station on this side? There. Blood on that there. in front of you was he actually man we spent 27 minutes in that raid <laughs> we got a lot done though we got a lot done that's level 30 all right that's actually a really big raid WC Tanker, thanks for the nine months, dude. Keep up the work. Thanks, dude. AJJ011, thanks for 12 months. All right. Part four, we should be able to hand straight in. Part five is on factory. Hello. Oh, we could have picked up that stuff. What about that? Making sure we didn't forget anything else. We got one of the things marked. Car repair, you're right. 